We have Persita Vongswadi here with us today for Aga Frontiers 3. Persita is currently pursuing her passion in her PhD research in organisation and organisation behaviour at the Rotterdam Business School at the University of Erasmus and previously at INSEAD Business School where I met her. She has also her master's degree in economics from Oxford University as well as Chula Longkong University in Thailand. Do family businesses have an even more challenging time due to succession planning issues? Yes, uh, definitely. So actually 70% of family business has failed to be taken up by the second generation. So that is how problematic it is uh, for the family business to deal with the uh, succession uh, issue. Now I want to explain a little bit um, a reason why a family business might find it hard um, to solve this issue of succession planning. So first of all, uh, we've seen from the data that there is lack of readiness of the family business. So you see the leadership void basically in the family business, whereas in the publicly owned uh, companies, they have this leadership pipeline. So basically they have prepared that succession very well in advance. It's very systematic in approaching this issue. And then secondly, basically, and I think this is not a very surprising finding, is that because of the strong identity that the family business owners have with their business, mm -hmm. they are more likely to feel it, you know, harder to relinquish their control right. um, of their uh, their own business that they have built. And then the third reason is this um, silo of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So we've seen from the data that uh, the owners, who is basically mostly the father and the daughter or the son have the same kind of expertise or knowledge. So there is this lack basically of the cross functionings of knowledge that might play a part in the failure of dealing with succession and, and how they change um, after the suge succession happen. Mm. So one of the solution, right. or, um, you know, one of the things that we could consider or the family business can consider is the inclusion of the external management. Now the assumption I think in, in research is also the common knowledge is that you know you want to basically have someone in the family taking up the leadership position, which is you know is thought to be a good thing. Right. But we've seen with recent research that look at the data of the family businesses um, in you know in the US and in Europe's country and also some in Asian countries, uh, they have found that you know the family business that have been um, taken up by you know, external manager actually performs better um, in terms of the financial performance after the succession happens. And the more interesting uh, findings actually that the family business uh, that have been taken up um, by you know the the daughter or the sons of the business they perform worse and this result is even worse in the industry that is fast moving. So, and you know, re reinforce the notion that it is this, you know, the lack of agility that's responsible for the failure of the family business. Thank you, Pasita. And thank you for tuning in to Aga Frontiers 3. See you next time.